Shamrock Rovers at Tallis Stadium against Finn Harps where the game ended up 3-0 to the Shamrock Rovers. I'm here with Jamie from Off The Ball and Noye FM. Jamie, how did you think the uh, game went? Yeah, it was an easy game for Shamrock Rovers. Uh, three up at half time, missed a penalty, had more chances in the second half. And Finn Harps second trip to Dublin in a week, they were up here again. Pats last weekend, they managed to keep a clean sheet but they didn't defend overly well tonight. And for Rovers, it was quite comfortable and didn't really enjoy the second half because the game was over. And, you know, for Rovers, it's, it's three points having you know, only dropped and dog and then lost the ball, so it's good for them to get back to, to win away heading into Pats now on Friday. There was a good few changes made tonight by the Rovers lineup. Uh, you're surprised by that at all? No, the squad is so strong that Stephen Bradley has, particularly in midfield, like to be able to leave his captain, Roman Finn, not the team and, and not to use him tonight and take Aaron McNeff Mac Mac off at half time. So, you know, they have options everywhere in the pitch. Sean Cavan didn't start on uh, the game against Dundalk. Trevor Clark on the bench tonight. Sean Cavan comes back in and is brilliant. So they've got such a good squad and I think with Friday Monday games for the last couple of weeks, it's important to try and keep all the players fresh. And I think Stephen probably thought making changes tonight, he'd still be able to win the game. That proved to be the case. So you'd have to keep in mind the game on Friday. I suppose it was the, the, the fourth game they had in 10 days. Um, in terms of Finn Harps, you have to feel for them really, don't you? Um, where do you think that this leaves them out for the rest of the season? Yeah, you know, it's a hard night for them. And if you look at their game so far this season, they've been in all of them and, and you know, they narrowly lost to the Sligo. They've drawn against St. Pat's. They've drawn against Dundalk as well and, and they were narrowly beaten by Bowles on the opening night. So they've been in all of the games prior to the match tonight and, you know, you can see it's hard for them in the second half when, when they kind of they know the game is over and, and they're probably playing a little bit to keep the score down and, and they lost their captain through injury that the managers sent off. I'm not sure exactly what was said there, but you know, it's probably maybe a little bit harsh that he's been sent off and he'll never be suspended for the next game too. So, you know, they'll be competing with the likes of your UCDs and, and others around the bottom of the table to, to try and stay up and you can really see their home performances in comparison to their away performances up within Park and they played on dock, they made the pitch smaller and it's a really tough place to go. Whereas they come up here, it's, it's a good big pitch and, and Rogers are able to play their game and, and they found things difficult, so they, you know they were never going to, you know, think they were going to come to places like Tala and pick up wins. It, it's the teams around them that they need to be, you know, more focused on. And they've shown in, in recent seasons, in the first division, in the playoffs, and also in the Premier, that you know, come the end, they'll be in it. And I still think they will be, even though they didn't play too well tonight. Do you think uh, Rovers will take much from the game tonight, or more so it's just about getting results on Friday? Yeah, you know, you know, they'll take stuff from every game, and you know, they're still. Players like Jack Byrne, Aaron McAniff and Aaron Voyage came on and there's still you know, some new players getting used to how Rovers played and I was having a debate with a couple of lads on Twitter about the shape that Rovers were playing. I thought they started with a diamond but then it looked like Jack Byrne was kind of playing on the right and Dan Carr was on the left and they played three at the back against Bowles, they're going back to a back four tonight so from that point of view they were able to look at a couple of different systems and I'd say Stephen is still with the amount of midfielders that he has trying to figure out how he can get them all into the team if he can because they've got so many really good midfielders and it's impossible to to play them all and um, you know from that point of view it was a worthwhile exercise to be able to see the shape that he looked at. He scored three goals in the first half, a couple of really good goals. Aaron Green's finish was, was fantastic. You know they missed a the penalty, won a penalty, hit the crossbar in the second half. So from that point of view, in an attacking sense they were really good and I don't think Alan Manis had one save to make either so they'll be really happy with how it's gone. So finally uh, game against Pats on Friday. Pats uh, right up their second third in the league. How do you think that's gonna go with that game? Yeah I can't wait to be at the game. You know Inchicore is a really good place so I'd say them huge crowd at that match and you know the clubs have had really good games over the years. It'll be interesting to see the, the midfields that both managers pick because you know the past midfield is also really really good and um, you know both of them will feel that they can push Cork and, and Dundalk towards the top of the table. So it should be a cracking game and I just encourage any League One fans that are out there try and get to it because you know we've had debates over the last couple of years about this league and, and you know the crowds in general have been good and these type of games in Dublin generally lead to good crowds which I think you know helps the players on the pitch and the atmosphere so should be a great game and uh, hopefully uh, from a promoting point of view they put on a good show on Friday. Well thanks very much for your time Jamie, okay? Thanks very much. No problem. Great stuff lads.